Speaking of this heat, the city of Houston is extending its public health heat emergency all throughout the weekend. And with that, they're once again doing what they can to make sure people are safe in these extreme temperatures. KPRC2 reporter TJ Parker is live at Discovery Green now with the city's plans and how to stay cool. TJ? Well, guys, it is certainly hard to stay cool with these hot temperatures. But yes, once again, uh, city libraries as well as multi-service centers have opened as cooling centers for people to get cool. The National Weather Service has predicted the heat index to reach as high as 112 degrees through Sunday. You heard Cambrell talk about those high temperatures. So the Houston Health Department recommends people take precaution when they are outside. They say, of course, drink plenty of water and to avoid caffeine caffeine and alcohol. Also, if you have to be outside, it's best to do it in the early morning hours or late evening. Also, wear light colored clothing, loose fitting clothes. Also, keep an eye on babies, children, seniors and pets to make sure that they're not left unattended. Another thing to watch out for, a big thing to watch out for is heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll take a look at some of the signs and symptoms and how to uh, prevent that. And of course, we have a list of all these cooling centers on our website. You can go to clicktohouston.com. We are live at Discovery Green this morning. I'm TJ Parker, KPRC 2 News. Thank